this video we're going to talk a little bit about the Royal Master needle grinding systems, end effector and robot. The idea for the end effector came from a highly unlikely place, a secret which I'll never give up. But the results were dramatic. The end effector makes this system highly flexible as well as efficient. Using 10 or 20 collets to hold the needles, the end, end effector has infinite rotation of the needles. And the robot allows for multiple angles to be ground on the needle. The robot you're seeing is obviously Pinook, recognizable by its bright yellow. It's the LRMate 200 ID 14L. It has a repeatability of 4 tenths or 10 micron. So it's, the question always is, how accurate is the robot? The answer is very. 4 tenths of an inch or 10 micron. Using the robot to perform multiple operations within the Royal Master Needle Grinder is the heart of the system. The end effector's engineering gives the ability to grind multiple needle types, grind an infinite size range without expensive fixturing, load, grind, post-process post and unload needles without an operator to ever touch the parts. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the end effector uh, specifically now. The end effector has infinite rotation with servo with that servo driven. The rotation accuracy is 0.5 degrees. The collets are pneumatically operated. The collets are sized for the needle diameters for optimal gripping. The collet change can be done in less than 60 seconds. It requires one tool and a very, very simple change. Now, if you have multiple post processes that you want to do, you can put an optional ATI tool changer in here. So you can dock the one end effector, pick up another one that's already out of post process and change. So this way, efficiency is at, at its best. This way you could be doing, if you wanted another robot, you could be grip blasting, inspecting, while this robot is grinding. For smaller diameter needles, you're going to ask about deflection, and we encapsulate the smaller diameter needles with a carbide bushing when it's grinding, so this way there's no deflection. And we also have an interchangeable back support for different needle types. The six-axis spin-up robot is state-of-the-art from Fanuc. It has an excellent weight-to-payload ratio having a payload capacity of 14 kilograms. It has very high moment and inertia at the wrist. And you can see it's mounted over top of the grinding wheel. And the robot has 911 millimeter reach, which is very important because we have 18 cubic foot of post-processing room that you can put anything from grip blaster inspection, buffing, um, whatever you currently do now for post-processing, we can incorporate with this system. Programming of the robot for day-to-day -day operations is done through the operator interface. In another video, we'll go into the operator interface a little bit more, but the directive from Royal Master to its engineering department was, we don't want the operator to have to interface with the robot pendant. We want everything that they touch on a daily basis to be done through the operator interface and we've been able to do that. So you can see we've got the robot pendant here. We've also have the part creator, and that's how you program a needle. So you're never programming a needle using the operator or the robot pendant. It's all done through the operator interface. So that's a, a general tour of the robot, the end effector, and how it relates to the whole system in general. Thank you.